Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and today what we're going to be working on is the children's and infant sizes on the kimono cardigan, the front panels only. This little piece right here is your front panel and we're going to be working on this to go ahead and add these to your piece. You're going to grab the same exact hook that you've been working with, same yarn that you've been working with, which is hopefully a size one and we're going to get started because of the size of the um, foundation ovals or the number of foundation ovals that you're using to create this piece for the small sizes for the infant and children you are only going to be working in three of these foundation ovals to start and do this front panel so you're going to do a front panel on each side we're going to go ahead and grab our yarn grab your hook and let's get ready to go all right so you've been working in this direction here like this i'm um, working from essentially what was the um, the bottom of your piece was where your foundation ovals were and you were working in this direction. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and flip your piece over where you have your foundation ovals back up on top. And you're going to grab some form of a stitch marker. You can use a paper clip, an actual stitch marker, whatever you would like. And you're going to go ahead and mark what, what number of foundation oval you're going to work in. And since this specific tutorial is just for those small sizes, everyone watching this tutorial, if you are making the 12 to 18 month or the 2T all the way up to 5T, you are going to mark the third foundation oval over. So if you take a look at your project right here, you'll be able to identify your foundation ovals. They are still hidden in there. And if you look right here, if you're having trouble seeing it, where your stitches are right here, this is a foundation oval. Where your stitches are right here, that is a foundation oval. Where your stitches are right here, these right here, that is a foundation oval. So we're going to count over to the third one and we're going to mark that with a stitch marker so we don't zoom past it. So there's one, two, and three. And for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use this paper clip so you guys can see where I'm marking really well. So that is how we're going to mark that so that we don't work past that. So, you're going to go ahead and grab your yarn and do a little slip knot. Um, I like to do the slip knot. You can, of course, tie the yarn directly onto the project if you prefer. And we're going to go ahead and get our hook here into the first foundation oval. So, we're going to go directly into that foundation oval. And we are going to go ahead and take our slip knot and slip it on our hook. You can go ahead and tighten that down so it doesn't slip off on you. And you're going to pull that through that loop like that, right there through the foundation oval. And now you're just going to do a chain. So grab the uh, working yarn and go ahead and pull it through that loop. And that is going to kind of lock that in place. I'm going to go ahead and let my tail fall onto the back because I'll be sewing that in later. So to get started, we've got one chain. We want to go ahead and chain two more times. So one and two. So a total of three chains right there to begin on this row and that is going to count as your first double crochet. So now you're going to go ahead and wrap your yarn again and right back into that same foundation oval you're going to do two more double crochets. So here's my first one. One, two, three, and here is my third. Just like that. And now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to move over here to this next foundation oval. And we're going to go ahead and do directly into that foundation oval three single crochets. So here's my first single crochet. Here is my second. And here is my third. And we're just working right into that foundation oval. And now you're going to go ahead and chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're already here where we've marked with our stitch marker. So you're going to go ahead and end your row here. You're going to do three double crochets right here directly into that foundation oval. So here's my first one. Number two. Oops. And last but not least, number three. And you are already at the end of your row. That is ex all you have to do to do your very first row that you're adding for your uh, front panel. So now we're going to go ahead and chain five. One, 
two, three, four, and five, and you're going to turn your work. And right back here into this very first double crochet on that row, so the same one that your chain five is coming out of, you've only got three here, you're going to work a double crochet right here into this very first stitch. So you're going right there in that first one and doing a double crochet. And now we're going to do a double crochet in the next two double crochets right here in this section. So a double crochet right there into the top of each. Just like that. And now you're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And you're going to move over here to those single crochets and it's going to sound very familiar because we're basically just doing a really short repeat on what we were doing down here in the back panel. So we're going to go here into the second single crochet. You're going to go directly into that stitch. You're going to go right in there and do a single crochet. Now you're going to chain four again. One, two, three, and four. And you're going to move back over here. Now you're at the end of your row. You've got these three double crochets left to work in. You're going to do a double crochet in the top of each double crochet from the previous row. Just like that. It's one, two, and three. And now we're going to whoop, find the... That's actually your chain three, I believe, from your previous. You just got to find the top of that chain three. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain two. And then we're going to wrap our yarn and go in for a second double crochet right there into that same stitch. So you want to make sure, I don't think my camera's focusing very well, but you're going directly back in to that same exact stitch that you just did the double crochet in. And you're going to do another double crochet. And now you're going to chain three. And you're going to go ahead and turn your work. And now we're going to do three double crochets right there into that chain two space that we just made. So we're going to go right into that chain two space and we're going to do three double crochets. So here's number one. Here's number two. And here is number three. So our chain three that we began with is counting as a double crochet. So we have a total of four double crochets right there. We're going to go ahead and chain three. One, two, and three. And we're going to move over here to these double crochets from the previous row. And we're going to put a double crochet in the top of each one. So we're right here on this first one. We're going to do a double crochet. We're going to move into the very next one. And we're going to do a double crochet. And we're going to move into this very last one and do a double crochet. Now we're going to chain three so we can move over there to that single crochet in the center. So we're going to chain three and we're going to come over here and there's the single crochet from the previous row. We're going to go ahead and put a single crochet right there in the top of that. And we're going to chain three again. One, two, and three. And now we're going to move over here to these three double crochets and we're going to put a double crochet in the top of each one. There's one. Here is number two right there in the top of that next one. And number three right there. And now we're going to chain three again. One, two, and three. And if you look at your work, you're now at that chain five that we created on the previous row. So the first three chains are acting as our double crochet, and then we have that chain two space. So we're going to do three double crochets right here into this chain five space. Right here at the end of the row, three double crochets. Working right into that loop. Here's number two. And here is number three. And now we're going to do our fourth in the top of the chain three down here. So we're going to go down here and we're going to count up one, two, and three chains. And right there in the top, that third chain, we're going to go ahead and insert our hook. Try to get around two of the little loops of the stitch. Sometimes it's a little fiddly. 
just like that. We're in there like that. We're going to go ahead and do a double crochet. And now we're going to go ahead and chain four. One, two, three, and four. And we are already on the last row that you need to do. And you're just going to start. I'm going to show you how to start the next row and you'll continue on and finish out your front panel very quickly for these small sizes. So we've done a chain four and we've turned our work. And now right here, we're not going to work into this very first stitch that our chain four is coming out of. We're going to go right here into the next stitch. So we've got three double crochets right here. This fourth one right here, we're going to skip that, go right here into the second double crochet. And if you pull your work apart, you can see exactly where to go. And you're going to do a cluster, just like we were doing on the back panel. So it's a double crochet cluster. So we're going to insert our hook and pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. We're going to wrap our yarn again. We're going to insert back into that same exact space, same exact stitch. And we're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. We've got three loops on our hook now. We're going to wrap again. We're going to go back into that same exact chain or stitch and we're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. We've got four loops on our hook. So we're going to go ahead and pull through all four loops on our hook. And we've done our first cluster. So now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to skip this very next double crochet right here. We're going to skip that one and we're going to move into the very last double crochet and we're going to do another double crochet cluster. So we're going to wrap our yarn around our hook. We're going to insert into the very top of that last double crochet and pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. We're going to wrap our yarn again. We're going to insert back into that same exact stitch. We're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. So now we've got three in our hook. We're going to wrap our yarn again. We're going to insert back into the same exact stitch. We're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two. And we're going to hold it. We've got four loops on our hook. So we're going to go ahead and wrap our yarn. Pull through all four loops on our hook. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to move over here to these three double crochets. We're going to go in there and we are going to actually be clustering those together with the double crochets that are right across the way right here. So we're going to wrap your yarn around your hook. You're going to insert into this very first double crochet right here. So we're skipping over that chain three and we're coming right here to that first double crochet and we're going to insert our hook, pull up a loop. We're going to grab our yarn and pull through two and we're going to hold it. Two loops on the hook. We're going to wrap our yarn. We're going to move over here to the next double crochet. So we're in that middle one. We're going to insert our hook, pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. So we've got three loops on our hook. Wrap your yarn again, come here into this third double crochet, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, and you're going to hold it. Four loops on the hook. We're going to wrap our yarn, we're going to skip over this chain three, that single crochet in this chain three, and we're going to come over here to these double crochets, and we are going to wrap our yarn, and we're going to come over here to this first double crochet and insert our hook in the top of the stitch, pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. So now if you take a look, you've got five loops on your hook. You're going to wrap your yarn again. You're going to go into the next double crochet. We're going to insert our hook. We're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. So now we have six loops on our hook. You're going to wrap your yarn again. You're going to insert here into this third double crochet on this side and we're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. We've got seven loops on our hook going to grab our yarn and pull through all seven loops on our hook. Now we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to come over here. We're going to do a double crochet cluster in this very first double crochet. So we're skipping over this chain three and we're coming over here and we are inserting our hook, pulling up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it with two loops on our hook. We're going to wrap our yarn again. Insert back into that same exact stitch, pulling up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. We've got three loops on our hook. We're going to wrap our yarn again. We're going to insert back here into the same exact stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, and we're going to hold it. 
We've got four loops on our hook, so we're going to grab our yarn and pull through all four loops. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to skip the very next stitch, and we're going to go into the third double crochet here in this row. So we're going to wrap our yarn. We're going to go ahead and do another double crochet cluster. So we're going to go into that stitch and pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two, and we're going to hold it. We're going to wrap our yarn again, insert back into the same exact stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, and we're going to hold it. We've got three loops on our hook. Wrap your yarn again, insert back into that same exact stitch, pulling up a loop. We're going to pull through two, and we're going to hold it. We've got four loops on our hook. We're going to grab our yarn and pull through all four loops. Now we're going to chain one, and we're going to come over here. We've got our very last, this is our chain three right here that we began that row with, the previous row with. We're going to wrap our yarn, and we're going to do a double crochet right into the top of the chain three. So we're going to find that third chain up, and we're going to insert our hook. We're going to pull through, pull through two, and pull through two, and that is our double crochet. So now you have finished out the repeat that you're going to be doing all the way down until you've repeated um, enough so that you have the same number of repeats here on the front panel that you did on the back panel and all that information is going to be down below in the description to tell you exactly how many repeats to do for each side. Um, we're going to have all that down there and we're going to go ahead and do your new row one since we started out in these foundation ovals. I'm going to show you how to do a new row one so that you can begin to work on down your piece. From there you can rewind the video back to the beginning and you will be able to follow along if you need more help. All right, so to begin that new row one, sorry I bumped the camera, we're going to go ahead and chain one and we are going to turn our work and we're going to do a single crochet right here into the top of that double crochet from the previous row. So we're not skipping anything, we're going right there into that very first stitch in the row and we are gonna do a single crochet. And now we're going to chain two and we're going to skip over this double crochet cluster and move right here into the chain three and do a single crochet. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to move over here to where we clustered all those stitches together. And if you look very closely at your work, you'll see that you've made a perfect little loop. That's where we're going to be working in. All right, so... To find that loop that I'm talking about, sorry, dropping the hook, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull the work apart and that little spot right there is what I'm talking about. So hopefully you can see that and hopefully you had no trouble finding that when you were doing your back panel. So we're going to do a double crochet right there into that spot. So we're going to go ahead and wrap our yarn and we're going to pull up a loop and we're going to pull through two and pull through two and do our double crochet. And I'm going to adjust my light just a bit because we are getting a little bit too bright. So now what we're going to do is we are going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to move over here into this section right here. We're going to skip over this first double crochet cluster. And we're going to move right here into that chain three space. And we're going to do a single crochet. And then we're going to chain two. And we're going to come over here, skipping over this double crochet cluster. And we're going to find the top of the chain three. This is a chain four from the previous row. So we're going to count up one, two, and three. And we're going to go right there into that top of the chain three. And we're going to do a single crochet. And that is your new row one. So from here, you're going to be doing your three double crochets, just like you began down here. So you can just rewind the video, go back to the beginning. I'll put a mark on exactly where that row starts so that you can have help with that. And you will be able to finish out the front panels for your kimono cardigan for these little teeny tiny sizes. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, share, comment below. If you don't want to share, please leave a comment. If there's anything I can do differently, I'm always interested in any of your feedback. Thank you again for watching. Have a great one.